natural disasters in American history. I traveled to hundreds of disaster zones, including Katrina, the earthquake in Haiti, and the tsunami in Indonesia, and this is one of the worst I've ever seen. This will be a long-term response for Convoy of Hope. We plan to be here for many months, helping survivors put their lives back together. And as the country mourns the lives that have been lost and as families search for those who are still missing, Convoy of Hope response teams and volunteers and churches and businesses are on the ground in places like this, hard-hit areas, for distributing food and water and emergency supplies in six states. North and South Carolina, Florida, Georgia, Virginia, and Tennessee. Now to date, more than 100 semi-truck loads of supplies have been distributed and many more truck loads are on the way. I just want to say on behalf of the families and children ravaged by this hurricane, thank you. Thank you for partnering with us to bring them help and hope during these uncertain times. In the coming weeks, undoubtedly, news coverage of this tragedy will wane but the needs of those affected will be ongoing. With your help, we pledge to be here for the long haul. But God bless you and thank you again for caring and giving. And uh, Convoy of Hope is one of our great Kingdom Builders partners. For years, our church has given hundreds of thousands of dollars each year to Convoy of Hope. And if you've given to Kingdom Builders, uh, just in the last 12 months, you helped Convoy of Hope do what they're doing right now in those six or seven states in this hurricane relief. And there are still people missing. Uh, there are families that have lost everything. And uh, we, we've, we've got the opportunity to recognize that we've been a part of the relief efforts through our giving, but also we've got the opportunity to give this weekend. Uh, you give normal Kingdom Builders giving, but there's, there's people I know you know, there's people that have a specific heart for times like this, and the Lord just prompts you, like, I gotta do, I, I want to do something specific to what's going on there, and I just want to encourage you, if, if you want to give to Convoy of Hope specifically, you've got that opportunity on our website, there is a line item where you can actually choose Convoy of Hope, it, it is a part of Kingdom Builders, but you can choose Convoy of Hope. Uh, we've got all the prompts also behind uh, to be able to do that. This is, we, we love what Convoy is doing, and we love the people that right now are in, in hurting. We, we don't experience the effects, really, of, of a hurricane. We don't just get hurricane season, you know. Uh, but there's families, hundreds and thousands of families that are hurting right now. And I love that Convoy said, first of all, he said, this is one of the worst I've ever seen. And he's seen it all. But he said this is going to be a long-term relief effort. And so long after the, the it's out of the news cycle, Convoy of Hope will remain. And your giving is a part of that, and it matters. And so we're just encouraging our entire church, reminding the church that Convoy is a great partner, uh, but encouraging the entire church, Lord, would you speak to my heart? How can I participate in what's happening right now on the other side of our country? And... Um, just, just talking about giving, we, 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 right now is the opportunity to give our normal tithes and offerings to kingdom builders. Uh, over 70% of our church gives online and understand that as well. But we always take a moment in our service just to kind of share around why why do we do this. And, uh, had the opportunity just today to come back from Lake Geneva up in Minnesota. Uh, there, there were over 100 couples up at a marriage retreat from our church, which is awesome. <laughs> Investing in marriages. And uh, when you get married, for those of you that are married, um, and, and if you're going to be married any length of time, it, it's, it's, it's good to have this framework, this perspective that what's mine is yours. It's just not going to work for a long time if it's like, what's mine is mine, you know? It's just, that's, that's difficult in a mar marital dynamic, you know? Uh, what's mine is yours. Two have become one. And in the Bible, the Bible really describes the church of Jesus Christ and Jesus uh, kind of similarly in, in a relationship like that. The church is called the bride of Christ. And I just think it's a great reminder coming off this marriage retreat for myself to go, Lord, what's mine is yours. What's mine is not mine. And, and, and honestly, first of all, what is mine? 
what's mine came from you in the first place. Mm -hmm. So what's mine came from you, and as I have it, it's, it, it is yours. And so that's, I think that's the right perspective, and that's how I'm trying to lead our family, and, and I love that that's what our church is about. God, you've given us so much, you've blessed us, and we're thankful for that. But would you speak to our heart about what we could do beyond just me? God, would you use me? Do something miraculous through my service, through my actions, through my words, and through my financial giving. So if you're taking a step of faith and saying, I'm going to become a tither, just have a heart posture. What's mine? It's yours, Lord. This is all yours. If you're given a kingdom build, if you're given a convoy of hope, I just think in church is the perfect time to just go, man, I've had the wrong perspective. And, and Lord, would you shift it right now? What is mine? Is yours. I love you. Take it. Bless it. I'm going to pray around our giving. And just before I do, I, I was not asked to share this, but I do want to share it. I think part of my role as an executive pastor is to share it. October, we always recognize October as Pastor Appreciation Month. Is anybody appreciative of the pastors? <laughs> And if you appreciate them, do something about it this month. Just encourage, just, and Pastor Rob always says, like, we're taking care of, we're all good. I, I think what is also on our hearts, you know, if there's a pastor here at the Apple Valley campus, or uh, if you're watching online, and we've got some online staff, um, there's people from all of our campuses. If there's somebody that you appreciate as a pastor, they're giving their life for this thing. And uh, if you've got kids in the kids' wing, appreciate the kids pastors if you've got teenagers appreciate the youth pastors I, I would personally just love to see all of our pastors across all of our campuses this month just feel encouraged by the body of Christ so be led however the Lord wants to lead you but it, it's I love that we get to live this adventure in ministry uh, but it's good to hear it from the congregation pouring out pouring out their lives it's good to hear that appreciation. Just encouraging you. If you feel it, say it. Alright, let's pray. Lord, we thank you for the privilege to sow in your kingdom. And we pray for the, the people that are in our nation right now that have lost everything as a result of the hurricane. That have lost loved ones. The people that are still missing, Lord. More than FEMA and more than Convoy of Hope, we need the God of the universe intervene in some of these situations. A rescue effort from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We ask that every person be found, every person be healthy. Lord, would you restore two times and ten times what was lost. And we've got, a, we've got an opportunity to help support a great Christ-centered partner convoy of hope. And we just ask that our giving this weekend would, would be blessed by you. And you would take it farther than it should in the natural. You would do something supernatural with our giving. Let it bless those that we may never meet on this side of eternity, but let it make a difference in their life forever and ever and ever. I pray that through the relief, people will find Jesus as Lord and Savior. I pray this in your name. Everybody say that. Good amen. 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 amen.